great. It is day four here in Nebraska and I'm making a big shift. I'm driving all the way to a different part of the state entirely. I've made it out of the corn for the most part and man, it feels good. I wouldn't be mad if I don't see another stock of corn for the rest of the week. I'm hoping I can put the glass to work, actually see some, some deer instead of them just being uh, piled in the corn. It's hard to get on deer when you can't see them. Also, it's difficult when the ground is so hard and dry that there's not much for tracks. This is looking a lot better though. I'm fired up and hopefully by the end of the week, we can have a cooler pack full of fresh venison and a big old rack strapped to the strapped to the front of the Explorer. We're gonna drive it home like that and see how many DNR officers pull me over on the way back to Ohio. All right, I've been kind of de debating what to do here. So there's basically these sand hills and in there there's little marshy pockets and some ponds. And there's also some cattle mixed in. I'm gonna take the more conservative route. There's a pretty good raise and I should be able to see what's happening in a lot of different areas. I don't think we'll be in the action tonight, but hopefully we see something that we can make moves on. I just wanna understand what's happening here and then can get aggressive later in the week. These deer just bedded everywhere. She just materialized out of nowhere. But it's cool, those places loaded up. I think where I'm at, I would be pretty good, but I do want to get to this side hill. I'm just gonna have to be really careful. I keep stopping the glass. I think those are those three deer that I bumped. They're just in here feeding. I mean, I'm almost bow range right now. So I don't think I'm gonna get up to where I want it to. I'm just gonna sit put. There's all sorts of cedars, some really good bedding. So I'm hoping we see some buck come out of there tonight. I'd be shocked if this is the only deer we see. So far, I think I've seen five does and fawns. No horns yet. Probably means, hopefully means they're all bastard up somewhere. I'm gonna sit here till just about last light and then get out of here and then drive and see if I can see anything right, right, right at last light. But it's gonna be quiet now. Last little bit here. Nice to see some deer though. This stuff's fun, hard to film though. All right, I'm sitting here glassing this area that I hunted last night, and I'm, I'm a ways off it. I didn't want to get anywhere near where I was last night, right in the mix of things. There's these little pockets of like marsh grass and cattails and stuff out here in the pasture. And now that I'm up here, it looks like cows are just everywhere, so I doubt they're in there, but the first group of does that I bumped actually came out of one of those areas. I figure this morning I will just kind of do some glassing, get a game plan, and the other thing I want to do after this is go drive up the road. There's some sweet mule deer habitat and some hay fields, and I'm guessing there are probably going to be some deer out there. It's nothing I can hunt. I mean, I could ask for permission if I see something good, but just want to see if there's anything out there. I just glassed up a doe and a fawn, which is cool. But it looks like there's a cow kind of encroaching on their area, so I wonder if that's why they're moving. I didn't realize cows could get all the way over there. Hopefully we just get eyes on a buck. Man, there's nothing I want more than just to glass up a giant buck and then go in and kill him.
After glassing this morning, I just wasn't super stoked on the area. It's a really cool looking spot and I kind of wanted to go scout it before I bounced, but my gut is just telling me that I need to go to an area that I have a little more experience with and can get on bucks a little sooner. So I'm running out of time. This is day five for me. I got, including today, five more days of hunting. I'm gonna get out here tonight. It's gonna be hot the rest of the week and then there's gonna be like a 25, 30 degree temp change on Friday. So the goal is just to be in position by Friday. I know this area pretty well and I think that there's a good chance that I'll be able to get it done before then. Well three bucks just stood up from their beds. One was decent and the other two were just babies but the one I'd probably consider shooting. I mean he wasn't very big in terms of the mule deer world but he be my first one. He was full velvet. They were all velvet. It's super, super calm, so I'm probably just gonna sit tight and wait to see if there's some bigger ones in here before I get aggressive and start pushing these deer around. But encouraging to see some bucks because I've been sitting here spotting for quite a while now. Thought maybe I just had bad eyes. Guess not. All right, I got nothing to lose, so as calm as it is, I'm gonna just try to cut off where I think they're going. And if there's any noise down there, any gusts or anything, I'll try to move closer, but they're kind of feeding this way already. So instead of just sitting here and waiting, I think I'm gonna get after it. Worst case, I blow them up. Oh man, I'm burping. Tastes like peanut butter and jelly. I am a complete idiot. I was probably a third of the way into the stock and I thought I dropped something and I looked down at my bow and my quiver wasn't on it. And I'm like, oh crap, my quiver must have fallen off. And I got to thinking, I was like, I don't know that I ever put my quiver on. It never crossed my mind that I didn't have any arrows. My bow was super nimble the whole time though. I like that. So I turned around and packed her out. <laughs> what a dummy. All right, good morning. It is day six or something here in Nebraska. And my plan was to get up and hit that mule deer spot first thing this morning, but the wind's completely wrong until about nine or 10 in the morning. And then same thing for the whitetail spot that I've been wanting to focus on. The wind's dead wrong for that too. But what I am gonna do is try to glass that spot from the road and just see if I can spot any bucks either in any of the surrounding food sources here right at first light or uh, I think I can peek into the bedding just a little bit. So that's what we're doing, working.
right, it's night six here in Nebraska, and I'm sitting on this big river bottom. I saw a spike when I came in. He kind of spooked off the other way, and then I did kick up a doe and a fawn getting set up. I think they must have heard me, and they eventually worked on winning me. But the purpose of this sit is just an observation sit. There's a slim chance I'll be in the game, but slim at best. But what I'm trying to do is just get eyes on target buck, figure out where in here he's betting, and then the rest of the week we're gonna have some better wins to potentially get in here and be a little more aggressive. I didn't wanna blow it with the wind on the first night, trying to be overly aggressive, not knowing where they're betting. But that's it though, it took me a while to get set up, but I feel pretty good. Let the glassing begin. Four bucks, two of them looked like pretty good bucks, like ones that I would shoot. You're just piling out. So I hid that group of bucks. Leave that away from me. I got a bunch of does out here. They're all eating something under the tree. I don't know if there's some type of mass tree, but I think two of those bucks were shooters. I think they might have been a little better than I expected to, better, better than I initially thought. Heck yeah, I'm pumped up. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna go out there, try to get after the muleys. Tomorrow evening, we'll be right back here in a different tree, a heck of a lot closer to where these deer are bedded. I gotta kinda scope out a tree from here right now, or I might end up on the ground to be honest with you. and get back after it tomorrow, but awesome to be on boxy to 